last video I, I explained you how to use RabbitMQ for the microservice communication. So in I, I showed you a sample with a sample application. You were able to you know publish the event and subscribe in the same service. So now prior to that uh, service, I mean prior to that uh, video, I have shown you how to save the I mean record into MongoDB user. So I have created something called user management service. There I was able to create users and save into MongoDB, right? So in this video, we will be you know dealing with all the microservices. So I will be showing how to create again. You create the user and save it to MongoDB. We'll use the same users, whatever created. You are, then we'll use the same user and create a. You know they will be able to you know add stocks using the stock management service. And then the stock management service, what it will do, it will the moment it will add the stock into DB, and at the same time it will trigger a RabbitMQ event and stock report service, which will be listening to that event, so that it will capture who is having what kind of record. So who is having like how many numbers of you know stocks like that report we will be having. All right, so what we will do now, let's see. I'll show you first uh, again uh, user management service so that I can create one or two users. All right, so what I'll do, I'll just press F5. And uh, you can see I have cleaned the DB again. So let's create two users for now. I'll simply say for now user one. And I'll just say B1. I'll create it. Okay, it's got uh, it got created. Now I'll just create user two. It got created. I'll just show you quickly. You can see your uh, user management is created, and uh, in the user collection, we can see two users are there. All right. Now what we we'll do? Uh, we don't need this service, so we know it's user one and user two. I'll just stop the service. Since right now I'm doing manually using the Swagger, this has to be done through the UI. So I, we don't need this service. I'll just close it. Now what we need, we I'll just show architecture first. So it was like so these two services will be communicating and saving to DB. So in our case, these are the three microservices. So we are able to create the user now. Now what we'll do, we'll add the stocks for those two users. All right. So for that, I have two services. You can see this is my. Uh, you can see over here stock management service. There is one more over here, stock reporting service. So what I'll do, I'll just uh, divide my screen over here. Just minimize this one. And what I'll do, I'll just put a debugger so that you can see whether the stock report information is coming or not. So right hand side, I'm showing the report, uh, stock report service, and the left side, left hand side is you know stock uh, management, so where I will be actually adding the users and uh, along with the stocks. So I mean, user will be adding the stocks. What I'm trying to say. All right, let's run one of both of them, and I'll just put the debugger in the controller so that. Uh, so okay, it's over here. All right, so this service is up and running as you can see over here. This is also I'll divide in half, and the right hand side also I'll run it. Let it run. Okay, so now both the services are running. Okay, so since we have created two users, you know user one and user two, what we will do, we'll just add a stock for them. So what we'll say, uh, I don't know, I can expand it or not. Okay. I'll just uh, quickly explain it for so that you can see in a better way. So it's saying what is the username and what is the stock name. Which uh, so I'll say I am adding a stock say Apple, and I'll say user is one is adding that stock and he bought let's say 10 10 10 uh, a number of shares right 10 quantity. So the moment I'll hit execute, you can see and I got the debugger. Now I'll just quickly go inside and it's saying publish. This is the services project, uh, portfolio manager stock report. I, I published from stock management. For this, so I just minimized it. 
I'll just show you over here. This is the one. All right. Now what I'll do? I'll just save that information. You can see. Again, this will be consumed by the UI, but I'm just showing from a swagger. I'll just say try out. This feature I've already explained in one of the past two videos, by the way. So right now we have only one user saying user one and he bought Apple stock and the quantity is 10. So we can show it somewhere in the reporting like oh, my user one is having these many stocks or something like that, right? Okay, now what I'll do, I'll add the same thing. And then you say he bought, let's say, eight, eight stop, and I'll just trigger execute. The moment I just this time, I'll just say simply F5. You can see the debugger is coming over on the right side, which is nothing but a reporting service. This side also, I'll say F5 so that I'll save the information in the DB. Now, what I'll do, I'll show you from the reporting. I'll simply say, get me the report. You, you can see now there are two users are there. One is user one and the other is user two. Okay. Now let's say I want to add some more quantity of so user. Let's say user one bought some more quantities of Apple. Okay. So what I'll do again, just go back to the same uh, manage, uh, stock management service. I'll say okay, user one again bought some shares of let's say he this time he bought only one. You can see last last time he bought ten. Now he is adding one more. And uh, let's say Apple. Uh, okay. That's a share name. I'll execute it. F5. You can see we got the debugger. I'll execute F5. Now let's call the reporting app. I mean to say Swagger right now. Execute it. You can see now the reporting app got uh, you know updated. So now uh, user one is having 11 number of I mean like 11 quantity of the Apple share. Okay. Let let this time let's add a new uh, new same user but new stock. Okay. So that our reporting app should be you know. Up, up and running okay so this time let's suppose, let's suppose he bought uh, say Infosys I'll simply say Infi and let's suppose user 1 only bought it and this time he bought 100 shares of this okay so I'll just simply say execute F5 you, you can see the debugger is coming I'll say F5 and uh, let's see the reporting app execute Okay, my bad. There is a small bug in the code. Let's fix it right away. Where is that? Over here, right? Get. Yeah, there is one condition is missing over here. Okay, let's fix this one. Oh my bad, let's let me stop this one. Okay, fine. For the safer side, I'll just simply say to lower so that if we type in a smaller so casing will not create a problem. All right. Now I'll just rebuild it. Yeah, I have to update this condition over here also. One second, I'll just copy this. So, and last time what happened, you know, it got added those quantities to the uh, 
the same share what the user was having so if i hit again it will show 101 or something right okay so anyway this we can't change it so let's add new share this time so this time the share name is apple and now what i'll do i'll just go back to the stock management service i'll say simply in free and this time he bought let's say only 10 share 101 okay and execute it f5 we got the event update it's gone now let's see the reporting app execute you can see now so user is one is having the 111 quantity of the apple share because last time he bought it like that because of he got some more share because of the bug also anyways now we added so he added i mean the user one again added 10 more shares of the infi so you can see our app is running all right so if i go back to the slide uh, so over here so what we did or what we have achieved so far we are able to save the data into mongodb we are able to communicate between the microservices this whole part is completed all right so in the coming videos we'll learn how to you know register those apis into the console you know for example if i i told you right these swaggers will be consumed by the or will be used by the ui right so for consuming right now you can see i have you know uh, these two endpoints the one is this one which is running on 157 port number 56157 and another one is uh, running on 56158 all right so they need to have this url and what if if i change my port number again ui needs to change the port number even the local i mean and i mean to say address right so just to avoid this kind of extra you know man and uh, you can say manually we have to keep changing those things so this is what we, we can use i mean what we can do we can use console as a service discovery for us so whenever we start our service we will register our endpoint into the console so with a key so, so it works like a key and value so i will say register my stock reporting service and this is the address so ui what it will do it will connect to a gateway and saying i need address i just connect me to that uh, reporting service so now what uh, oscillate a API gateway will do it will connect to a console Say it will say okay, get me the address of the uh, stock reporting service. So it will give it just like a dictionary kind of thing at a very high level. If you see, and it along with that, it uh, used to do you know load balancing also. So you can see we have achieved this much now. In the coming videos, I'll be working on the console. I'll explain you how to register your API into a console so that then going forward, we'll be keep on going from right side to the left side. So we'll be achieving right. So we will show you how to register the API into the console. And then in the com coming, uh, like further, we'll be working on API gateway. Then I'll explain you how to you know, work on the Prometheus. And in the end, we will you know, work on the client. So we'll develop both mobile application, we'll develop and we'll develop a UI, which will be mostly in Angular. All right. Thanks very much.